Amazfit GTR3 is a great smartwatch, but how accurate is the heart rate sensor on this watch? I mean, can wrist-based heart rate sensors compete with medical grade devices? And that's why we tested the heart rate tracking of Amazfit GTR3 against an oximeter. So let's find out how close this watch comes to an oximeter in our Amazfit GTR3 heart rate accuracy test video. But before we proceed any further, I want you to hit that subscribe and like button so you don't miss out on other interesting videos, shorts and posts that we upload on our channel. First, we will open the real time heart rate app on Amazfit watch which allows you to track your heart rate in real time. You can download and install this app using the Zep app on your smartwatch. Once installed, you will find it on your watch's menu. I'll be using an oximeter here to check the accuracy of the Amazfit GTR3 watch. We are going to start tracking the heart rate at the same time. As you can see, the watch is producing some very accurate results and this isn't surprising as the wrist-based heart rate tracker has improved a lot over the years. However, I think you will lose some accuracy when you are moving or doing some activity. In that case, a chest-based heart rate strap will be ideal to get more accurate results. This should also get the job done and give you a basic idea of your workout intensity. One thing to note here is that the watch doesn't support connecting accessories like heart rate strap or dynamic pods like Garmin 245M do. So if you are a professional athlete who wants accurate results then this is not the watch for you. If you happen to be an athlete then consider checking out our Garmin 245M in-depth review or a heart rate accuracy test video. With that, it's time to take my leave. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to press that thumbs button and subscribe to view more videos from us on wearable tech.